Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. In today's episode, we're journeying into the heart of the ancient world, specifically to the 3rd century AD, we'll explore the bustling city-state of Palmyra, a wealthy caravan oasis located in what is now modern-day Syria. At this intriguing crossroads of civilization, where diverse cultures and trade routes intersected, we encounter one of the most formidable figures in ancient history, Zenobia, the warrior queen whose remarkable reign has captivated historians for centuries. Zenobia was born into a prominent Palmyrene family, her lineage tracing back to the legendary Cleopatra of Egypt and Dido of Carthage. Even in her early years, Zenobia exhibited traits that suggested she was no ordinary child. Endowed with an innate intelligence, she possessed an insatiable curiosity about the world around her and an unyielding spirit of independence that set her apart from her peers. Anecdotes about her childhood, many of which have passed into the realm of legend, describe a young girl with a warrior's heart. Zenobia could allegedly outride, outshoot, and outthink many of her male counterparts, a testament to her fearless spirit and agile mind. Moreover, she demonstrated an extraordinary intellectual capacity, mastering multiple languages, including Greek, Aramaic, and Egyptian. Impressively, she could even decipher ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, a skill that was exceedingly rare and highly prized in her time. The year 267 AD marked a pivotal moment in Zenobia's life. Her husband, Odeonithus, who was the ruler of Palmyra, met an untimely death through assassination. Suddenly, Zenobia found herself thrust into the tumultuous world of politics and power. She was catapulted from the role of a consort to the helm of an empire. But Zenobia was not merely a figurehead or a placeholder, ruling in the stead of a minor son. Instead, she wielded her intelligence, charisma, and her deep understanding of Palmyrene society and culture to solidify her rule and gain the respect of her subjects. Under Zenobia, Palmyra didn't just endure, it thrived, entering a golden age of prosperity and cultural renaissance. Her reign ushered in economic reforms that bolstered trade, making Palmyra a vital hub connecting the East and the West. The city blossomed under her leadership, its wealth and influence rivaling those of the greatest cities of the time. Zenobia also put significant effort into strengthening her military forces, training them to stand their ground against the two contemporary superpowers, the Roman Empire and the Persian Empire. Yet, Zenobia's rule was not just about economic growth and military might. She was a lover of knowledge and a patron of the arts and culture. Under her reign, Palmyra became a vibrant center of intellectual discourse and artistic expression. The city attracted philosophers, scholars, poets, and artists from across the region, and Zenobia herself often participated in philosophical debates and discourses, engaging with the finest minds of her era. Zenobia's ambitions, however, extended beyond the city walls of Palmyra. In 269 AD, she made a daring move by annexing Egypt, directly challenging the authority of the Roman Empire. This audacious act, a testament to Zenobia's fearless and strategic leadership, marked a significant escalation in her conflict with Rome. Her audacious move set off alarm bells in Rome, sparking a series of battles that would ultimately determine her fate. Despite facing overwhelming odds, Zenobia proved to be a formidable adversary on the battlefield. She didn't merely send her troops into battle. She led them, standing at the forefront, undeterred by the threat of the Roman legions. However, in 271 AD, after a prolonged struggle, Zenobia was captured by the Roman Emperor Aurelian. She was paraded through the streets of Rome in golden chains, her defeat serving as a symbol of Rome's victory over her. Yet, even in defeat, Zenobia managed to retain her dignity. She remained unbroken and unbowed, her spirit undimmed by her circumstances. Accounts about her later life vary, with some suggesting that she was allowed to live out her days in a villa in Tivoli, near Rome. 
Even in this twilight phase of her life, she remained a potent symbol of resistance, her spirit and legacy living on. Zenobia's story, however, didn't end with her death. Instead, her legacy continues to resonate through the ages. Today, Zenobia is revered as a symbol of female empowerment, her name synonymous with courage, defiance, and resilience. Her story serves as a powerful reminder that history is not just made by kings and emperors, but also by queens who dare to challenge the status quo, defy convention, and carve out their own paths in the annals of history. As we wrap up this fascinating exploration into the life and legacy of Zenobia, we're reminded of the rich tapestry of human history and the myriad individuals who've left their mark on it. Zenobia's story is but one of many, a single thread in the complex weave of the past, but it's a thread that shines with the brilliance of her courage, strength, and indomitable spirit. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time on History Uncovered. If you have ideas on who we should make a video about next, please let us know in the comment section below. If you found this episode informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video. Our journey through history is far from over, and we can't wait to share more incredible stories with you.